Go and send someone to the black market and trace back the origins of those goods. If only we can find even the tiniest of clues, we can finally send him to his death. We have to make it clean so he cannot escape. Yan Shun is much better at these games than his father ever was. But the last time we upset the Emperor, we have to avoid causing a stir in Chang'an. We should start from Northern Yan and Shenyang instead. Understood, my lord. My lord, you have spent a large sum bribing the Shenyang Trade Guild. These are their accounts for this month. Please take a look. It appears the Shenyang Trade Guild is much stronger than we had imagined. To tear them apart once and for all, it will cost much more than we originally thought it would. My lord, can we possibly take it out of Northern Yen's tax money? We can't. And not only that, we also have to return what we have taken. If the funds are insufficient, we'll use our own and take some from the guilds. It's a critical time. We cannot let people, or anyone for that matter, have leverage over us. <sighs> Understood, my lord. You are all dismissed. Yes, yes my, lord. my lord. Stay here, yeah. Send him out as well. Uncle, he's a deaf man. He can't hear anything. That may be so, but I do not want anybody else to be in the room when I tell you what I have to say. treated you all these years. You have raised me and educated me like your own son. You disagree with many things in our clan. But now, the clan is in trouble. Uncle. You cannot stand by and watch. Uncle, what exactly is going on? Lord Liu was found guilty of the fire in the tombs, right? Embezzlement. Favoring one's own. Even selling official positions. Not a single one of these crimes are serious enough for them to destroy the Wei Clan. All of the major families have at least one or two skeletons in their closets. The Emperor knows this as well as anyone else. So, what do we do now? There is something that has been bothering me for a long time. It was a stupid mistake I made a long time ago. And these days, I regret it very much. You what? Uncle, how could you be so unwise? I guess I didn't think much of it at the time. I was so sure my plan was impeccable, that no one would ever find out about it. I didn't think this day would come. Uncle, there's not a plan that's totally impeccable. We must open the coffin and take out the Jade Vessel. Your grandfather was buried a long time ago. How could we possibly open his grave and disturb his spirit? The fate of the clan is at stake. And besides, if he knew about this, he wouldn't be able to rest. The thing is, there's another way to solve this. There is only one other person. Who knows about this other than us? If we get rid of him, then nobody will ever find out about this secret. Who? From the Ministry of Works, Liu Shen.
Welcome back, your highness. Thank you. Lord Liu. Liu Shen. Hasn't he already been sent back? He's one of Wei Guang's people, and his scapegoat for the issues with the tombs. So what is this important item that you mentioned to us? They were too far away, and they kept their voices low. I was unable to hear it, but it must be something quite important. We don't need to know that for now. The key here is Liu Shen. He has information that could possibly send Wei Guang to his death. Tell me, where is he now? After the fire, he was removed from his post. I've sent people to watch him. He's packed, and he's probably planning to run away. We know that the Southwest is the Liu Clan's turf. We can't let him go back there. I will stop him. Don't let him get away. Yes, yes my, my lord. lord. I've made preparations. Take care of yourself.
You can go. Hey, you! Come back! Stop making a fuss! Why don't you just let him go? What's wrong with you? You're wounded. Let go of me! Let go! Don't struggle. I know it hurts. I'll take care of it. Let go of me! I won't. You and Ye, when did you become so shameless? I've always been. Couldn't you tell? I'll count to three, then you'll let go. Count to a hundred, we'll have it bound tight. Oh, he's right, you know. It'll just take a minute. Oh, then we can get on our way. Oh, thank heaven. Thank heaven for you two. Thank heaven. Let's get going. We have... Why'd you do that? He was annoying. If you don't stop talking, I'll knock you out as well. I've decided. I'll take him. You know that this is the only option that's reasonable. Why do you get to decide what's reasonable? The Emperor sent you? You stole the Buddha from the Imperial tombs, didn't you? Everything should be in your control. What else do you need to know? Since you know everything, why don't you expose us? For your sake. Oh, I see. So you also want to take this chance to kill Wei Guang, am I right? If talking about this will make you satisfied, I can stay in chat with you. <laughs> Tell me, when did this happen? The carriage entered the city. I'm afraid it's already by the palace gates by now. Did you get a good look? Was Liu Shen really inside? I'm absolutely certain. the whole plan could be executed. The executioner will get busy. Watch your tone. Wenshan. Be quiet. Yes. Please rise, my lady. The Emperor has asked you to go back. I've served His Majesty for many years already. I know a thing or two about the way he thinks. He still has feelings for you, and he doesn't want you to exhaust yourself, but he can't see you right now. What's done is done, and there's no way we can change that. It's true, my lady. You should take good care of yourself. We'll get another chance to act. Please, head eunuch. I want you to take this hairpin and give it to the Emperor. It was a gift from him for my first birthday, after I entered the palace. Please, don't worry. I will make sure that he gets it. I'm afraid I am no longer able to keep serving the Emperor. I'm going to take full responsibility. This has nothing to do with the clan. Lord Wei, if you'll take all the blame in order to preserve the rest of your clan, do you think the Emperor will believe you? Wei Shuya. You must come with me, and testify against Lord Wei. But I... It's the only way for you to be able to save the rest of your clan. Please 
please accept my gratitude. There's no need. I'm not doing this for your own good. Wei Shui is not a scheming and cruel person. Making him pay for your deeds, it's not right. Shuye, you must go with General Ye to talk to the Emperor right now. And you must report all of my heinous crimes to him. You've raised me since I was young. Now you're in danger. I'm willing to face death with you. The Wei Clan needs to live on. This is the only way to survive. Do you want to witness our entire clan be massacred in front of your eyes? Yeah, I am begging you just once. Uncle. By imposing these extra taxes on Northern Yan, you alone stole more than a million pieces of gold. You know that's half of the yearly income of the entire population. Please explain. How did this happen? I'm guilty, your majesty. I should receive a thousand cuts. And you dare to put the late emperor's white jade vessel inside your own ancestor's tomb. Tell me, do you have plans to rule the world? Killing your whole clan would be too kind! Your Majesty, we recovered the vessel and the secret accounts only because Wei Shuya helped from the inside. Please judge accordingly. Wei Kuang is not just corrupt. He governed Northern Yan and disturbed Wei. He conspired against me. There will be no mercy. He must die. But Wei Shuye placed righteousness above family and made contributions. From now on, Wei Shuye will head the Wei clan. Half of the clan's lands will be confiscated so as to warn other clans. You're all dismissed. Majesty is merciful! Please forgive me, my lady. You only followed orders. You had no other choice. Besides, my brother did commit some crimes. But you saved Ye, as well as the clan, from certain death. There's no need to ask for forgiveness. Thank you, my lady. Right now, my family is deeply hurt. And Ye is a lot like Song and Chun. They are all innocent kids. They can be naive. And so, I must ask you to help me look after them. And also to guide them. My lady, I'll do my best. The princess is arriving! <sighs> Cousin! Princess! Please rise. My mother sent me here to visit you. He was unwise and made serious mistakes. He brought this on himself. We're lucky you and the consort weren't hurt. This is not the right time to talk about this. 
The execution is today. I heard you're not allowed to go out. Try not to be too sad. My brother has sent people to check on him in prison. Your uncle will not feel too much pain when he goes. Thank you, Princess. Please don't thank me. You're really lucky. My father didn't blame you for what happened, and he handed control of the entire family over to you. You need to be smart. Don't do anything stupid. I won't. Mm. This is the hour. By now, Wei Guang is most likely dead. He got a painless death. He's lucky. With such weather... I'm in the mood for some wine. There's some in the kitchen. You want it now? I was just saying. <laughs> the Emperor states, the country is ruled by civil and military means. Military leaders are the defenders of the land and the pillars of the court. That's why I select talents regardless of their backgrounds or their gender. Chu Chao is well versed in both civil and military affairs. Talented and moral, loyal to the country, and should be taken as an example like Mulan. I hereby name her the archery drill master of the elite cavalry. I hope that she will fight fearlessly, serve selflessly, and live up to my expectations. This is my will. The timing is perfect. The elite cavalry. Their commander is Prince of Chang. Yu and Ye is there. They are Chang'an's elite troops. Most hail from great families. Competition within the camp is fierce. And it has historically been led by a royal prince. The Prince of Shang has royal blood and military power. That's why he can keep the soldiers in line. However, the military is the men's world. Making a woman order a bunch of soldiers around is gonna make life hard. I've also become a thorn in the Emperor's side. It makes sense that he wants to suppress me. <laughs> there are many people who want to please him. Honestly, I'm worried about you. There's nothing we can do. We can't defy the Emperor. Also, until you brought it up, I almost forgot that I'm a girl. <laughs> Don't you believe in my skills? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Hmm. If anything happens, let me know at once. Things have changed since three years ago. If I can't even protect you, the suffering from these past three years would be for nothing. I'll just be a drill master. It's good. We can learn about the camp. Archery drill master is here. It's just a drill master. Why do you need to tell me? Bring him inside the camp. It's the one appointed by the Emperor himself. It's that woman. Bring her in. Yes. Your Highness, drill master Chu is here. Your Highness, it's an honor to meet you. On your feet. Yes. So you're Chu Chao. I am. I've heard a lot of things about you. I saw you at the banquet. You really impressed me back there. 
Women can be as good as men. There were many people then, so we didn't have a chance to talk. But I didn't expect that we'd end up serving in the same camp. You flatter me. It was nothing. I have heard that when Northern Yan rebelled, Yan Shen's family was killed. But you stayed by his side the whole time, protecting and caring for him. We both lost our homes. That's why we stuck together. He doesn't look down on me. Despite my low status, I felt honored. <laughs> You're both strong and loyal. Now I understand why father sent you to my camp. The way is not quite like the South. We've had women officials in court before, but you're the first woman officer in this army's history. I'll do my best for the Emperor. That sword of yours, is it the Shenhong sword? It is. Your Highness. Right now, I have a unit that needs an archery drill master. Go there, do a good job. If you run into any trouble, you can come to me. Escort drill master Chu. Yes. Thank you, Your Highness. Soldier. Yes. Bring you and you here right now. Yes. Twidula. Stop torturing me. You think I'll beg for mercy? Just kill me already. Do it. <laughs> Hush out. You have a death wish? I'll make it happen. Captain! The lieutenant made a mistake and said things he shouldn't have. Please be lenient on him. I'm sure he's learned his lesson. Captain Shui, his mistake caused no deaths. Please, let him go. What are you doing? All of you, stand! <laughs> stand up and listen. Ho Xiao has hurt morale and planned to rebel. I sentence him to death for the crime of desertion. Execute him! Please, wait! Who are you? You dare interfere with military justice? I'm Chu Chao, the archery drill master appointed by the Emperor. The Prince of Shang ordered me to report here. That doesn't give you the right to interfere with this execution. You don't even know the crime you committed to deserve this punishment. My apologies, but I just saw the entire unit begging you to spare this man's life. What heinous crime did he commit? <laughs> he is an officer of Wei, yet he only wants to return home. He's confusing the troops and shaking their morale. Captain Shue, if you want to get rid of me, you can spare me the excuses. Just get it over with. Commander Shue, if you're doubting him, you shouldn't make rash decisions. At least tell your superiors first. <laughs> he is under my command now. There's no need to bother the general. But this man is no common soldier. He's an officer of the elite cavalry and the leader of the Shuli army. A key unit tasked with guarding Chang'an. I don't see how such a man can be yours to execute as you wish. <laughs> you should report this incident to the Prince of Shang and General Yuan. Master Chu, do you want to speak for this man today? <laughs> Not at all. It's simply because I just got here, and this kind of thing doesn't seem very auspicious. But if you insist on going through with this, I'm gonna have to leave. And I'll report it to the Prince of Shang. He'll decide what to do.
Thank you, Captain She. Come! for me since when did you start to manage the personnel in the camp as deputy commander the allocation and arrangement of personnel is a part of my duty <laughs> is that so why haven't I seen you take this so seriously prior if that's all I'll take my leave wait there is something <clears throat> Don't tell me you like her. Hey! I'm not done yet. Come back! Are you mad at him, Your Highness? Look, I'm not that shallow. Why does General Ye like that new drill master so much? Nothing good has ever come from having women in the army. They get bullied and humiliated. It's quite common. Most of the men here come from one noble family or another. What can a newly released slave girl like her do to defend herself? For the whole camp, only the Shuli army, which was based in Northern Yan, and feels guilty about what happened to Yan Shen, will listen to her. And that's the unit Yuan Ye sends her to. If that's not taking care of her, what is? Yes. I think you're right, Your Highness. I'm worried that, in the end, His efforts are in vain. Lieutenant, wasn't that woman the one who was with Yan Shen during the execution? Yes, that's right. She spent the last few years with him in Yinga Courtyard. She also made a name for herself when she beat Zha Man during the hunt. The Emperor decreed that she should be made archery drill master. She is the first and only female officer in Wei. She's already famous. Then she must be in contact with Yan Shen. What if... She can help us to explain what happened. Stop dreaming. It's not dreaming. She just helped us back there. At least she's not hostile to us. She just arrived at the camp, and she's here temporarily. She probably doesn't even know who we are. The stain on our name won't wash off that easily. Don't count on her to help us. Just wait. When she learns about us, our days here will get even tougher. It's been three years now. I keep writing to my family. But they still haven't written me back. I don't know how my parents are doing. I married my wife just before I left. She told me that she was pregnant. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Don't think too much. Drillmaster, what do you want? Oh, Xiao, are you hurt? I'm fine, thank you. This ointment is very good. Take it. Thanks, Drillmaster. All right. How do you know who I am? There are a few Northern Yen people in Chang'an. Of course I know you. And you're not the only one I know. Ge Qi. Wu Dan Yu. You're from Northern Yan's Shuli army. You used to serve under Liu Zie. Get some rest. Thank you, Drillmaster. It's late. You're still up. Uh, Drillmaster. I couldn't sleep. Me neither. Did I interrupt you just now? No. I know someone else who likes to play the Beely. Who? Yenshin. Do all Northern Yen people like to play this instrument? It's a military instrument. My father taught me how to play it. 
Yunshin probably learned it from Marky Dingbei. You're from Northern Yen. You must have been away for three years as well. Two years, eight months, and 21 days. I'm afraid. I have no place to go. Even if I do return. Ever since that incident, my brother drove me out of the family. At the time, my wife was pregnant and wanted to escape Northern Yan to live with me. One day she encountered a bandit when he learned that I was her husband. He murdered her. And when other people learned of his deed, they praised him for a sense of justice. They even offered him a position. I hear he's an official now. Who is this man? She was a pregnant woman. If I get the chance, I'll avenge her. But I'm a rebel. Do you feel ashamed of that? I deserve death. Then why are you still here? Your brother cast you out of the family. Liu Ziye, your general, died when he threw himself against a rock on Shuli Mountain. And you? Why are you still alive? You think I don't want to die? But if I do die, what will the Shuli army do? They followed me and served me with bravery. But in return, they were branded as traitors. If I die, who will protect them? To me, those men, they're more than just my soldiers. They're my only family. It's my duty to bring them home. Even if I can't do that, I should make their lives better. I will carry on, no matter how hard it gets. You think too much. You're just a traitor after all. Do you believe me? If you believe what I've said, then does that mean that His Highness will believe me as well? He... He's in a dangerous place. His family's gone. Countless people are watching him. The three years are almost up. He doesn't know how much longer he'll live. Does it really matter if he trusts you? No one person was responsible for what happened. Zhao Dongting lied to make you open the city gates. That can be forgiven. But during the Beisho massacre, Northern Yan's Haying army launched a suicidal charge, all were killed. Northern Yen's Hongchuan army also made the enemy pay dearly. They fought to the last man. And your unit? First, you made a mistake and made all of Northern Yen pay for your stupidity. Then you gave up resisting and left Northern Yen for Chang'an. You've been living in humiliation. Even if you never meant to betray your home, Three whole years is too long. You have become true traitors. I empathize with your past, but I don't agree with your behavior. Yes, you can endure and make some plans, but you need to have goals. Otherwise, you're not really living, but merely trying to survive. Tell me, what are your goals? Because I can't tell. People need hope and persistence in their lives. Because without that, our lives are worthless. The road is long. Where do you want it to lead? You should spend some time to think about that. Shay 
被命运折断了翅膀，坠落深渊万丈，记忆被封藏。这风雪多嚣张，就算再被践踏，也不仰望。我会越挫越强，这呼吸是热，这心跳是光，一点一滴。